Okay, so with the holidays coming up, Christmas, Thanksgiving, there's so much food that's going to be readily available to so many people. Uh, people are going to be eating tamales, you know, pozole. I mean, all this good food, man, it's, it's hard to say no to. Oh, it, it's, uh, what, what advice you got to people that want to get in shape, but the holidays are coming. What kind of advice you got to give them, man? Damn, Big Bob, you're gonna be looking, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna want, want me to spill the beans right here. But no, nah, I'm a, I share this because I have Q and A's, I have live Q and A's, and I share a lot of tips. And a lot of people, fuck, they have some amazing results on just what I share. But they pay attention, they take notes, they ask good questions, and, and I'm I'm good with that. So yeah, there is no need for you to fucking stop or fucking wait. For the new year, you know, the holidays are here. I did my best cut last year. My picture flowing around a, a buck 70 diced the fuck up on the holidays. Why did I do it? Because I wanted a challenge. I wanted to be more harder on me. I wanted to test myself and I wanted to see where the fuck I was mentally, you know, and I fucking did it. But I come to find out that everything's possible because I was able to fucking enjoy the last, uh, uh, the 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 fucking Thanksgiving uh, dinner with my family, the Christmas uh, dinner. There's a lot of fucking uh, uh, gatherings, you know. But the problem is that they just don't know what to eat and how to structure their meals. Me, I tell them the first tip that I'm gonna tell you guys here, exclusive on Bobby's fucking uh, uh, show. Um, make protein king, and in the morning, if you know that you're gonna have that Thanksgiving dinner, start eating. Very low fat, very low carbs throughout the day. So when you have that dinner, you won't blow your fucking, you know, you, you won't blow your gains. You won't blow your fucking, uh, your, your journey towards uh, weight loss. Why? Because the body is calories in, calories out. So the body knows that in the morning, this is how I set myself up. I'll, if, I'm go to, if I go to dinner uh, with my wife, which is every week, go have a steak dinner, you know? And people's like, fuck, you could have steak. Yeah, but motherfucker, I ate fucking just protein, a protein shake in the morning, that's one meal. Protein shake only, okay? So that has maybe three grams of fat and maybe four grams of carbs, but protein shake. Then my second meal, egg whites, that's it, boom. Egg whites, it's just all protein, no fat, no carbs, boom. Third meal, another protein shake, you know, just all protein, that's it. Three meals, okay? My fourth meal, which is another fucking uh, tilapia. I'll get tilapia because that's very lean protein. So it, you gotta feed your body protein so you could build muscle, okay? So then dinner comes. I got all my fats still and I got all my carbs. So now I could have a delicious steak. Now I could have my baked potato. Now I could have some spirits, enjoy the time with my family and not be a sour puss there. Oh, I'm in a diet. You know, but they don't know how, to, you're not going to know that because you don't even know what's your numbers. You don't even know, well, fuck, how much protein should I eat? How much carbs should I eat? Everybody's different. You, me, is different. People, they're like, hey, girl, put all your meals throughout the day. Why? How the fuck is that going to help? You know, that's, I, I put my breakfast every morning and then I put a second meal and sometimes a third meal, you know, but don't copy it. Those are just ideas for you. You cannot eat like me. First of all, I'm bigger than you. So why the fuck are you going to eat like me? You know, you're small still. Or th this other guy, oh, well, fuck, you still got to lose weight. If you eat like this, you're not going to lose weight. You know, I'm already in another category, you know. So I didn't start there. I have a log of my macros, and I didn't start where, what I'm eating now. It's different. And that's what people don't get. You know, they think that just by copying somebody else that you're going to look like him or, or that's what's going right. to be. But you could make it happen, big dog. You know, like I said, everybody could. In the in the holidays, that's where it should be more of an excitement and not fucking uh, tap out and fucking crack. You know, it's just that you just don't have a plan. And a plan is better than no plan because uh, at least with the plan, you could always plan ahead so then you could enjoy the, those times with your people, you know. But people just don't know. They just don't know what to eat or what's what, you know. And, and that's why I, I lay some up in that manner. I get clients that hit me up. Uh, yesterday, you know, hey girl, I'm in Universal Studios. I seen you there last time, man, and uh, I did what you told me. But you know, they have this meal here. Could I eat it? And could I? So I'm like, okay, where you at? And I'm like, okay, well, what you're gonna do there is you're gonna double up on chicken. That rice they give you there is too fucking much for you. Don't eat the whole fucking rice. Eat half, and then the rest veggies. And they're like, oh fuck, okay, thanks. You know, that should give you about. I already know, you know. So my people, they're always like hitting me up. So I give them ideas. You know, we have Zoom calls, so I could 
give them a better breakdown and just be more detailed. So now when they're out there with their family, they know how to structure their meal. You're not going to look at a plate of food and not know what it's doing to you, you know, because that's what's hurting us. You know, we just don't know. We just fucking eat it, you know, and, it, and, and out there, what you eat is high carbs, high fat and not enough protein and protein is what keeps you fuller because you know it's it's going to uh, it's going to keep you more uh uh full throughout the day than if you were just to eat carbs and fat you know that shit it's like eating fucking chinese food you'll be fucking hungry in an hour you know it's like too much carbs and fat that's why they make it with high volume food that you just can't get enough of it you know why because it's very low protein protein is what's going to fill you up uh and, and keep you fucking calm, you know? That's why it's always got to be king out there. That's one of the tips that if you have that, if you start with that, then uh, you're going to see a lot of changes just by doing that alone, you know? Not even fucking me going deeper and detailing you your nutrition. If you just make protein king, because that's where everybody does. You go to restaurants, they give you fucking bread and butter. You go to a Mexican restaurant, they give you chips and salsa. And we just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. That right there is a shitload of fucking carbs and fat in the body. It's only going to take maybe like one third of it. And the rest, where is it going to go? Store as fat or you're just going to fucking uh, shit it out. That's the problem. Hey man, that's great advice. Mm -hmm. It all starts with a plan. Yep. Where can people find you on social media or where can they get in contact with you if they want to, if they, if they want to start this lifestyle, man, and, 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 you know, hire you as a coach, where can they get a hold of you? Yeah. So, you know, where I pretty much, uh, show my life, showcase my life, you might say, you know, it's IG. So it's Guerrero double underscore fitness. And uh, my YouTube, my YouTube channel is Guerrero Fitness Lifestyle. You guys could go there. And what I do there is pretty much uh, break down a lot of topics. A lot of people hit me up with questions on my DM. So I take it to YouTube and kind of, you know, work on a lot of uh, issues that they're going through, a lot of topics that they're going through, which is might be mindset, it might be depression, it might be anxiety, it might be a lot of shit that has to do with uh you know, with, with, with problems in this world, you know, but I, I explain better and, 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 you know, try to fucking show you how to fucking, you know, curb that, how to kick that shit, how to fucking, you know, turn that negative mindset into a positive mindset. That's what we need more of here now, you know, cause a lot of us are just fucking, uh, you know, falling deeper into depression and a lot of, uh, just, uh, you know, sadness and, and, and fucking anxiety and, 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 and loss, you know, they're, they're lost, you know, they don't know what to do, you know, they're hopeless and, and that's what we don't want. So that right there, I fucking touch more and, and a lot of, uh, uh, mindset, I'm able to explain more, you know, but you know, other than that, you know, like I said, you know, you guys could always DM me on my IG. That's where I pretty much post all my, uh, my lifestyle, everything that I do from morning when I wake up, you know, three o'clock in the morning, I post my breakfast, I hit my workouts. And then the rest of the day, I just, you know, deal with uh, my clients or uh, uh, DM people back and forth. And a lot of people that, you know, just want to hit me up through there and, and that are dealing with a lot of shit that, that um, you know, a, a lot of shit is just uh, your own fucking, uh, your own thoughts that you don't, that, that you fucking play into, you know? So what I try to go and do there is flip that mindset, you know, tell you that now, nah, you know what? We have tools to fucking curb that, to negate that. We have fucking tools that we could use to put, put you back in a positive mental attitude. And that's what people don't know. They're like, fuck what they think that is fucking the, the tools that they use is, is the drink that that's going to mask the pain, the smoke, the drug, all those vices, which vices is pretty much whatever you uh, has regret attached to it. So when they go towards that, that shit is it's only going to fucking dig you. It's only going to fucking uh, uh, dig you deeper in a fucking hole where that you ain't going to be able to get out of later. So the way that I do it, which is like, now nah, we got to, we could go hit a workout when you're feeling in, when you're feeling negative, when you're feeling fucking pissed or, or, or in a bad mood, the only way to kick you back into gear is just go hit a workout, which is action. You got to get into action. You cannot never take, you, you can never fucking, you know, 
go back into a positive mindset just by thinking about it, just by forcing yourself. Oh, no, nah, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk myself out of it. Nah, when you're pissed, you're fucking pissed. You want to fucking fuck somebody up or you want to fucking handle business. No, the only way that you're going to fucking check that is by going and hit, hitting a workout, get you back and, you know, hit some burpees so you can get your fucking positive mental attitude back in check. And, uh, you know, um, th there, there's a lot of ways to, uh, you know, negate all that fucking bad habits that we have. Well, there you have it, man. Guerrero, Guerrero Fitness in the building. And, uh, hey, man, I appreciate you being here. You dropped a lot of great knowledge, a lot of gems. And I think a lot of people will, will take that in and, uh, you know, hopefully change their, their lifestyle. Because I, I sure have, and now I want to change my lifestyle. And uh, you motivated me today, man. 100% big dog and like I told you earlier you know like I said I'm not here to tell nobody how to live their life but I am here to fucking show you guys that there is another route that there is a better way because uh, all that shit that we the definition that we've been instilled in and groom to believe is fucking bullshit you know all that shit is just gonna lead you to self destruction and to a place of regret and pain that not only you're gonna cost yourself but your family you know so like I said it's about lifting each other up bettering each other and uh, helping each other on fucking just overcoming and uh dealing with adversity life which is a lot of us you know just don't know how to cope with it but hey there's always uh there's always a way well thanks again for coming man I wish you nothing but the best of luck until next time bobby thank you appreciate you having me here big dog let's go